Hello, this is not a spring chicken. The big news today is, oh, not that the president once again was in Southern California. Oh, yes, on a fundraising trip. Or, excuse me, campaign trip, clogging up all of the traffic in L.A. I know, you know, the people, it's like, I was speaking with somebody yesterday, and they said, well, what are you doing here? She said, well, I have to come to work in real life. Don't you know the president's coming through here? So they're blocking off all the streets, and so you might as well go home. So, yeah, that's what happens in productivity. But I guess, well, was that the big news, or was the big news is that the president's base is, uh, let's just say, it being a little, they've become a little disillusioned. They're actually looking for somebody to replace their guy in the house. So for now, we're going to bring, yeah, because news still continues. We're going to bring old Kim on with comments on the headlines of today. And Democratic leaders see little chance of an Obama win in 2012, and they're trying to get others in the race as Obama's poll numbers continue to fall, even with the base. And, you know, I, I'm going to cover Rex's here because Rex works for Fox News. And you know that if you work for Fox News, you actually support the president secretly. But um, they, they said that he insulted the base at, a black, at, the, at the Black Caucus's awards dinner. He totally insulted everybody, told them to get off their blankety-blank rear ends and get out there. And you've got to make this job pro. There's nothing in a job program for black people. It's only a union's job program. And they don't tend to belong to those unions, folks. So uh, they said that, it, that every week his polling gets worse and worse because you know, we've got to stop these Republicans because they're going to destroy our nation. We've got to get a job program in there. We have to tax the people out of existence. We have to do this. They said so. He's not even solidifying his base because what people don't understand, you know, Rex doesn't want to hear it. Most of the money is in the hands of Democrats in this country, not Republicans. Ooh. All of those people that are surrounding Obama that are billionaires are Democrats. Republicans tend to be uh, uh, the, the small businessman that basically does all the hiring and doesn't go out of this country. Mm. The people that support Obama tend to be multi-billionaires. Mm. I know. And Hillary Clinton picks up a southern draw. I know. You know, I mean, I, 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 I could do that southern bit. You know, somewhat legitimate because I love well, my family from the south. They just go into it naturally. But when Hillary Clinton from you know, you know she's sort of from Illinois, folks. Well, wait a minute, but they were down in Arkansas. I no, she moved to Arkansas with her husband. But her husband, her husband basically doesn't speak with that southern accent either. No, he Guy is a he's a you know like Harvard Oxford educated. If anything, he goes into the, you know that you know function, goes into that folksy thing because it. It tends to make him look cool and all that because he's just got that little soft southern voice. But uh, when you're going into a thing, Phil, I mean, they, here's what it is. One of the reporters said the only thing they didn't bring out for the Black Caucus Awards dinner was fried chicken and watermelon and guys tap, tap dancing on tables saying, yes, uh, yes, ma'am. And uh, they said it was a racist, uh, they treated the people like it was a racist event. And Obama and Chicago style politics goes after Standard and Poor's. The whole trick is uh, Standard and Poor's basically have the Constitution on their side, which basically they have a they have a constitutional right to say that somebody's going to do better or worse. And uh, I mean, so they get paid money by people uh, for credit rating. They decide, you know, it is their decision. And if Obama doesn't like it. You know, he, he will lose, they already said, he will lose the case in the Supreme Court if it goes that far. But he's trying to, uh, okay, uh, here, here's the big They're a thing. rating service. They're not supposed to be influenced But the trick by is that, is that uh, I think Warren Buffett owns Standard & Poor's. Mm. Uh, everybody wants to know why Buffett is on the bandwagon with, with Obama. Because Buffett owes a billion dollars in taxes. Mm. And he doesn't want to pay that billion, or is it a billion in penalties? A billion in penalties, and he doesn't want to pay it. So what you do is the president promises him to get the IRS off his backside. So he basically so he separates McGraw Hill from Standard & Poor's. I mean, Standard & Poor's. Remember one of those eight, one of those big things on Wall Street is Standard & Poor's. All they have to do is, okay, Obama said, I'm going to teach you son of a bitch is a valuable lesson about dealing with the greatest president of this nation. Dan Reports, I won't say this, though, but I'll get Rex. Dan Reports said, we don't think the United States is realistically about doing anything. I think they're a two-star nation now, 
and then and it goes just like that. Mm -hmm. That's the power they have. And Obama basically has to get it through his thick head. Chicago politics doesn't work because somebody out there, okay, nobody's running for office. Republicans will stand up, but you'll see somebody like a Ronald Reagan that have come out and basically, okay, you want to get, you know, he'll bring out a big tub of mud onto a stage and said, okay, Mr. Obama, let's get down into the mud where you want to crawl. He said, I grew up in Chicago. I am from, I am from Illinois. I know how to play. I went to Northwestern. I can play in the mud more than you've ever known. So, Reagan would basically clean his plow, but nobody in the Republican Party would even stand up to this president. Which is, I could beat this president. But, but put it this way, BS could beat this president. And of course, the Democratic Party knows if you put anybody out there with the people that are running, this guy can't win. And Christie's out. Yeah, because he's not going to run because they're not going to elect a guy that looks like. You know, Taft, who is basically 400 pounds in weight. I mean, what do you think that uh, Huckleby decided not to run? Because Huckleby had been putting his weight steadily back on. You're not going to elect, elect a guy that looks like he should be playing uh, a defensive lineman for the New York Giants to the presidency of this nation. It isn't going to work. And Japan finds rice in needing thorough radiation tests. Yeah, well, because the country basically is one of their main industries is rice, and basically the whole country. I mean, as I understand, a lot of people are not going to the trade shows that they had scheduled now because they don't want to. Reporters don't want to go there because they don't trust the food system. And Christie's out. Yeah, I know. You know, we're going to keep repeating that because no matter how. And much, Christie's out. No matter how much some of the people over at Fox wants Christie to be in. Uh, okay, the, here's one. Why would the people at Fox who support Obama want Christie in, thinking, knowing that Christie's got a good chance of beating him? Because you've got the tall, trim, good-looking, athletic Barack Obama, and the obese, you know, uh, who, you know, the obese, really out of shape Christie. Who's going to look best on camera? Remember, yeah. they said Kennedy lost all the debates. Uh, Nixon won every debate they made, but Nixon looked bad on camera. Kennedy looked like um, sort of a young god on camera. That does make a difference. That's right. And gold slumps, $100, stocks edge up. Yeah, they're hoping that this deal that they're making. Okay, Greece, their, their market is setting new records. You know, the highest day they've had in a, in, a, in, a, in a decade or something so far today, based upon the fact that Greece Greece has got an austerity program, which they're going to tax the hell out of everybody. Tourists are coming, your businesses. You're not going to be able to work in Greece now with the taxes that they're going to charge, which means it hasn't got a chance of working. Mm -hmm. Not a chance. They know Greece is going to default because the people of Greece will not go, you know, I mean, uh, uh oh, I get to retire at 50. You think I'm going to put my retirement age back to 80? Mm. And in Europe hastens to build up debt crisis defenses. Oh yeah, they said that uh, Greece is what uh, Greece has defaulted again, folks. But the the uh, Fran okay, France France is in such bad shape financially. They're trying to refinance their debt now, so that they can help pay the debt of Greece. And uh, in Germany, the, they basically Merkel is losing one election after another and refuses to call a general election because she knows that she will lose the vote of confidence and they'll throw her out immediately. The Germans have told her, stop, okay, let's see, it works this way. We have to have our retirement age pushed up by a decade so the Greek can retire at 50. We have to pay higher prices on everything because the Greeks want 19 cents a gallon in gas. Yeah, that doesn't make sense. No, but the, we're going to save, Merkel, we are going to save Greece, no matter what the cost is to the people of Germany. She said that today. Oh, guess I, bet, her, her I, I guess there's going to be a lot of unhappy Germans. They want to throw her out. But they, if she doesn't call a general, it doesn't have a vote. Of, you know, what happens is if she calls for a vote, she will lose the vote. And that means in that type of parliamentary system, they have to have a new election within 30 days. And she's gone and Greece is toast along with most mm. of Europe. Because they're all using German, they they busted they busted um, France. Now they're using what money Germany has left in order to keep the European Union operation. The European Union is dead. They said 
which it's not a matter of if it's just when it's going to collapse now or six months now but it will totally collapse and a monty bubble isn't from the mark twain of the animal kingdom okay if if uh, 60 is the new 40 and and 80 is the the new 60 does that mean you can't retire until you're 85 now <laughs>